It is Monday night once again, and we are here in the Madhouse with the Maverick Soul Hour with Tommy Marr. Um, I guess I will go through my week. I got to tell you, it's been one of the worst weeks for me emotionally that I've had in, I can't even tell you when. Uh, a very dear friend, if you remember last week, I asked for some prayers for a friend of mine. And uh, he wasn't only a friend of mine, he was like a, my brother. And um, we lost a real American hero this week, Mr. Roy Howard, who owned, owns um, Yazga's Farm, which, uh, I mean, we, we, we're up there all the time. Uh, Roy has been like, I, I, can't, I, I really don't want to get into a whole lot right now because I'll lose it here live. But I, will, I do want to say that I am going to have a memorial show for Roy. I'm going to have a lot of his true friends here. We've, I've talked to a bunch of them already. Uh, we're going to do something very special for him because he was a very, very special man. And the world should know about him because what he did is quietly and, and the class that this man had right up to the day he died which was last Tuesday, uh, is incredible. I mean, uh, a, a true man and a true American hero. And uh, Roy, I just want to send my love to you, and I know you're there, and I know you're listening. So um, I, I miss you, my brother. I, I really miss you more than you'll ever know. And Gerald and Zach and Leslie and the rest of the family, uh, I have my deepest, deepest, deepest regrets. You know how close we were. And... Um, I loved him, and I really, truly loved him. So uh, I'll be in contact with you, and uh, we will be at the memorial in April. And um, uh, at a later date, we'll, we'll announce uh, we're going to do a show here for Roy because uh, I know he was going to do the show with Gerald, uh, but unfortunately we didn't get to, get, get to do it. So uh, we're going to do it, and again, I, I send my love to you. I know you're up there looking down. And uh, my blessings. I also would like to thank Michelangelo. What a super job he did last week. I mean, guys, how many people seen Johnny Maestro sing Led Zeppelin? Um, we, how many people saw uh, Robert Plant jump up on stage and help out a band that one of the guys got sick? I, I mean, Michael's got videos that are just incredible. And I know everyone enjoyed it because it was a big, big reaction to that show. There was a massive, massive... Uh, amount of people watching that show. Um, I uh, Well, the Super Bowl, I thought it was a great game. I don't really want to get into it. I thought it was a really great, great game. I didn't really care who won, but Super Bowl's over. I also want to uh, let everybody know on Long Island, or if you're in the city or anywhere nearby that can make it out to Belmore on Saturday night, my band Hollow Point will be playing at uh, Farrell's. In Belmore, we go on at 7. Um, so come on out, and you, uh, you'll, you'll hear some good stuff. And actually, the band, I think, following us is uh, a cream band. Um, with, I, and I know they're very good. I'm just sorry I can't think of the name of them right now. But uh, excellent band. So uh, you get two for one that night, two good bands. And uh, come on out, man. We'll have a good time. And please stop by and say hello. I would love to see you. And... Uh, you know, we'll have a good time. Um, I also want to say, this is big news here at the Madhouse, very big news, and uh, I think it's going to really, you guys are all in, just like for us, we're very, very excited. We're going to move into a much, much, we have a very big studio here, but we're going we're gonna to be moving into a much bigger, probably three, three times the size of this whole studio, we're going to have a, a complete stage built in where I'm going to bring all my big boy bands in there. You know, maybe we'll get the Vanilla Fudge and Cactus and Rickety and all those guys. I know you'll be coming in. And uh, my boy over there, the, the monster, Neil, with uh, seven turns, we'll get him in there. We'll, we'll have everybody in it. Andre LaSalle said he'll come back in. we got a lot, a lot of people ready to come in. So um, we're, that'll be in March. We're going to be in the new studio in March. And you're gonna, you're just gonna, and and not only are we gonna have that, we're gonna have Madhouse Radio. Uh, we're gonna, they're gonna bring back Tom and LJ show, uh, which is two maniacs. I mean, these two guys will have you uh, 
you'll have to pull over when you're driving. You know, you have to wet yourself or something. But um, that's going to that's gonna be going down. And, and also, I will be having a radio, uh, my own radio show also, uh, probably during the day with uh, some classic rock, and we'll bring in some great guests and do some great interviews. Uh, I know I got a whole list of good people ready to go. And for all my friends that don't have uh, that aren't signed and have great music, and you want me to play it on there, get a hold of me. Uh, or get a hold of me through Madhouse Reality TV, or on Facebook, or however you want to get through. And um, and we're gonna just rock that place. That's gonna be unbelievable. Yeah, let's bring Tom Mealy in. Well, I don't want to come in. I no. just want to let you know that with the with the new radio station. Uh, that when we go on the air for the first uh, 2,000 people that call in, right. we're going to be sending them the cord that goes from their iPhone into their car. So if they're driving on the way to work, all they have to do is just click the icon and we're on their car radio. So they can actually hear us as we're driving. What again. more can we do for you? So first 2,000 people. You get a car, in. and you get a car, and you get a car. <laughs> Ford, not no. the car. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I was Oprah for a minute. I thought I, was, I felt like Oprah. All right, but uh, that is going to be exciting. The radio station is going to be outrageous, and I'm really, really thrilled that we're going to we're going to be able to showcase a lot of un, unsigned talent. And uh, I know, geez, I'm some a thousand bands on Long Island alone. So it's going to be really hot and really good. And wait until you see the new TV sets. It's going to blow you away. I'm telling you, blow you away. I already saw the buildings. Incredible. I can't wait. I can't wait because then we can really bring in my rock bands, you know, because we can't have drums in here and all that. So we're going to let it fly. So we're going to go in, take a quick commercial. I have two special, special guests that are talented be beyond uh, belief sitting right next to me, and I'm not going to introduce them until we come back from commercial. So hang in there, get yourself tight. You're with the Maverick Soul. We'll be right back with two very talented ladies. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly used in Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. We are back with the Maverick Soul, and uh, like I said, we have two very special guests. We also have a very, very special person on the phone that we will be speaking. If he can, you can hang in there a minute, Teach. Sure. Okay, hang in there a second. Um, I want to introduce my guests. I have Miss Arlene Shar. Hello. And Deb Leahy. Hi. Now, 
I just want to tell a quick story. As a matter of fact, Teach, you'll remember this, I know. Arlene, you, do you remember Arlene? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, <laughs> for you guys at home, I met Arlene at the 42nd reunion at uh, Woodstock reunion at Yazga's farm. And she was playing the violin with, uh, with uh, Retro 69. And my band, at the t we were booked to play that night at whatever time, 10 o'clock or whatever on Saturday night. It was a three-day concert. And uh, one, of the, one of my guys got his carotid artery. He had to be emergency surgery. So I went up, and, but Roy wanted me to play. And so I played with them. And uh, that's how I met Arlene. So... Arlene, I am so blessed, and Deb, I am so blessed that you guys came down from Good Pennsylvania and Jersey, and uh, it's going to be outrageous. But let me just talk to this man a second. You don't mind, guys, right? No, not Teach. at all. Do you remember Teach? Yeah, Oh, okay. I do. So what's happening, man? Nothing, brother. Yeah, it's been a rough week, I must say. Yeah, rough week. it was. Memorial Forum up there Saturday night. I saw. I we couldn't we couldn't do it because I was locked in a studio and I could not get there. But we'll be there in April for sure. Um, I actually saw the video of and with you speaking, and I knew I knew your voice immediately. Um, and uh, I don't like I said. Maybe you'll come down for the show we do the memorial show we do on here for Roy. Oh, definitely. Okay. Oh, God, I can't even tell you. I can't. Well, you know. You know. Uh, so when you, um, I don't, don't make me cry, please. I won't. Um, but I, I would like you to come down for that show if you could possibly make it. And um, bring some of that kibasi that you make. Hey, no problem. <laughs> I got, as a matter of fact, I was going to take some up Saturday. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, I got to cut you. Because I have these two beautiful ladies here that I got to give their time to. But uh, you got my number at home, right? Give me a call this week, all right? Sure, will do. All right, please. Okay. All right, Teach. God bless you, and I'll talk to you soon. Amen. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, good guy. A Yazga's guy. He's been there every year. He's a, a, a wonderful, wonderful friend also. And I know he loved Roy, and I know he's having as tough time as I am right now. And... Uh, I'm glad he called. I, I'm glad he called. Um, okay, ladies, I'm sorry. That's, I didn't want to get locked in there, but uh, he meant a lot to a lot. You know. Understood. You know, you know. My prayers are with you and with everybody who loved him. Thank you. And I know you, you were there once, and I know you had to feel that vibe oh, and, the, and the love. absolutely. Anybody, that was a good year. That, that was, was a, a great good, year. That was a, I've been to many of them, but <laughs> that was a really special because it was smaller. It was just nice. But okay, let's get back to business. Let's get back to business. All right, Arlene. Now you're you're from Hellatown, Pennsylvania. Well, Lehigh Valley. Lehigh Valley. Okay, and Deb, you're from Jersey. Originally, yes, Plainfield area. Oh, where I live out in Easton now. Where are you now? Easton area, right over the. Oh, right over the that's bridge. That's Larry Holmes, right? Yeah. 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 I remember the big sign going through there one time. Yeah. <laughs> um, now. You guys, you guys are in a group called Taking Liberties, right? Well, we have revived it for the occasion here. Uh, well, Deb's way daughter's back. also Several of. years ago, the three of us, uh, me, Deb, and occasionally her daughter, Sarah, uh, played together as either a duo or a trio, depending on uh, what the venue required. And it just it sort of fell by the wayside. We got involved with other projects that we diverted. But Deb and I have always stayed in touch over the years. And she's actually my favorite keyboard player ever to well, play with. So. I just heard her playing in uh, the, the Czech, and it was, uh, I can understand. Oh, yeah. Last year, we had a, a jazz project we had put together with a drummer and a saxophone player uh, uh, from all angles, we called it, because we were approaching the songs from all angles. And there, too, you know, everybody was involved with day jobs or obligations. Our sax player is a chiropractor and had family That's obligations. Good. Oh, it is, but it means would, that I music's like on the back band. burner. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there, too, you know, we had a creative spurt, right. but then people's lives diverged. So. Well, one thing I know about you. One thing I know about you, because I'm an observer, and I don't drink, so I'm always sober. 
But one thing I do know about you, because I watched you that night, and this lady didn't know any of these songs and just just got up there with, I don't know, how many different bands did you play with? <laughs> I mean, you probably played with 10 different bands that, that weekend and just killed every single song. I mean, and, and especially the, the what amazed me was the original band, like, uh, what's her name? Oh, from, Tiffany uh, Gassett, Tiffany Rising Gassett. Tribe. Um, now, that's original music, and, man, you just jumped in there. And, <laughs> and it, was, it was cool. It, that was a great, great, and I loved it. And we did a Joe Cocker set, and, uh, boy, and, and if you actually watch the video, you'll see musicians jumping onto the stage because it started with about six, and it ended up with about 20. Oh, it was wild. It was, it was, it was wild. It was wonderful. I always and, and, like to say I never let the fact that I don't know a song stop me from playing it. Yeah, but man, I, I'll tell you, you're gutsy to jump up there without even knowing what the song is. I mean, that's just, that's a player. It so, was fun. Uh, that, that's, that, that impressed me. And I've seen you many times. I've, I've watched a lot of things, you know, and I've seen yet many benefits that we've done with Retro 69 and Alan, Alan Spielman and uh, the gang. And, um, it was funny. You should have seen us this afternoon. We wanted to beat rush hour, so we came a little early and went over Would to visit. Would you leave like at one in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> You're on Long Island. There is no time. We had a wonderful drive-in, and we hung out with my friend Elliot Liebner, the bass player, mm -hmm. and he also plays acoustic guitar. So he was just firing stuff out. We said, Elliot, play whatever you feel like playing. So he's just picking songs out of his hat, and Deb and I are just Go along for the ride. She's like me, you know. She can hear it and just jump we in and play jamming, it. We be man. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's my favorite kind of. But play. you and you do have a lot of Long Island connections now through through you know meeting different people. Yeah. And and, and you know it, it, and it is like that. Long Island is so musically. People it's don't very realize rich. how many people came out of Long Island. I mean, yeah. it's it's so thick with with it, and now even more so. I mean, with with uh, the internet and YouTube and everything, it's it's crazy. Long Island's so, been very good and to I'm, me. And I'm really looking forward to to, to uh, you know bringing some of these unsigned bands on the radio and letting the people listen to some because there's a lot of great music out there that people will never hear. But through YouTube and that, I mean, you know, I mean, you listen to some guy in Africa, you know, mm -hmm. wailing like uh, Hendrix. You know, it's it's a it's a it's an amazing thing. So. I am really looking for it, and I'm sure Tom and Vicky and everybody, Janine and everybody, is really, we're so excited about getting in this new studio because we're going to be able to do what we really want to do, you know, so. Um, now, Deb, I know you come from a very musical family, right? Your dad yeah. was a classical uh, guitarist, jazz guitarist. Jazz guitarist, yeah. And your brother, right? Yeah, my brother tours right now with Dennis Young from Styx. Oh. And uh, he toured with John Waite for a while, and he's been and he, all over. And he, did he win a Grammy? Oh, that was my dad. He oh, won a Grammy dad. with uh, Phil Woods. Oh. The Phil Woods 6 album back in the late 70s. He passed in 90, but... You, you have the Grammy? Uh, actually, my brother just finally got some kind of recognition. We let him hold on to I it. I mean, it, do you have an actual Grammy? No, but no? they gave him some kind of certificate. Really? Well, yeah. you call them up and tell them <laughs> you want the horn. Now, there was some major <laughs> issues with Phil Woods yeah. and the producer and a few things. So. Oh. <laughs> Got a little the music political there, business, you know. the ugly yeah, side, yep. the ugly yeah. side, yeah. Well, there is a lot of ugly sides to it, that's for sure. But um, I know you guys have known each other for a long time now, right? And uh, so you just must be like, it's just breathing to you guys, right? We play well together because we just kind of intuitively know where we're each going. Right, that's, and, and yeah, that's what makes it good. Yeah. I mean, I was listening to your sound check and... Uh, I mean, it's 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 so beautiful. The, I mean, the, the music is it's beautiful. You know, I mean, a lot of stuff I, that I have on the show is classic rock, hardcore. You know, not not hardcore, but um, you know, Zeppelin and stuff like. We had Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin, the girl. I've heard oh, them. They're phenomenal. Yes, incredible and great people. Great people, but um, I know I know everyone's gonna love this. Now, you also wanted to talk a little bit about your blogs on MySpace? Uh, yeah, for a while there, I was using MySpace as my vehicle. Now, I don't want to cut you. Mm -hmm. but now, I heard the other day that MySpace is going to come back now because Justin Timberlake bought it. Really? Yeah, and it's going to now come. Now, that's going to be the new thing. Okay. Uh. So, don't lose your friends because I haven't been mm -hmm. on mine in years, but I had a lot of friends on there, so. 
I just went on this morning to update it. I hadn't been on in months, but some of the blogs I reference a lot. Mm -hmm. um, for me, music a lot of times is a vehicle for connecting with people, oh. and hugely for me, a vehicle for social change. Mm -hmm. You know, back 40 years ago, when you had bands like the Woodstock Band and right. Jefferson Starship and so forth, you know, the idea, John Lennon, the idea was to elevate people's right. thoughts to what, how could we have a better world? Well, and that's what so, I do with the, Wood I have that Woodstock Guru page. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and every day I use, well, this week I haven't even been really gone, but every day I just say something kind just to try to make people, if it makes one person smile, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's like you said, you know, you want to carry that spirit, you want to carry that innovative vibe that, you know, like, you know, like, like when we did the Hendrix show, his birthday, um, um, what's his, uh, I can't think of his, from Living Color. Um, Vernon Reed. Vernon Reed. I interviewed him, and Vernon Reed said, you know, what he said was so true. Like, you know, you got to remember, Jimi Hendrix, it wasn't, there wasn't anything there. I mean, he invented that, you know, I mean, and like Jimmy Page, too. They invent, you know, that didn't exist, you know, and, and it made the stepping stones for someone, you know, to branch off and, and, and let the tree grow, you know. Sure. And they'll and you know we need some more of them to come along to to start that root you know in the in the in the at the bottom and so because I don't really feel that you know you know happening with the younger and I don't mean it in a bad way I just you know I, I do see some talented people coming up in that and it's good but uh, it's like you said you know it, it's such you when you meet musicians and that you you have that instant bond and 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 usually usually. They're spiritual people, usually. There's a lot of them that aren't, but there's, there's a lot that are. And, and I like that connection, that oh, spiritual. Music is a great way of connecting oh, diverse yeah. people. You know, one of the best bands, two bands that I really enjoyed, three actually, uh, Paul Simon, Jean-Luc Pani, and Regina Carter. And what they had in common was their bands were international. You know, all races, all right. genders, right. all countries. You know, there it was a, a great leveler you know you have people on stage i remember i went to kansas city several years ago found uh, an underground afters club and it was mostly like college age uh white students intermingled with middle-aged black folks and it didn't matter you know and it's so refreshing when people can be who they are, diverse, and it doesn't matter. Right. Well, you know, that's what music does. I'm colorblind, so I, that, that never meant anything to me. It never did. I mean, I, I grew up in a, you know, half and half town, so, you know, they're all my brothers and sisters, and, uh, you know, that's the way it is. But we're going to take a quick commercial. We got to get, uh, got to get the commercials in, so get tight, hang in there. You're going to be very pleasantly surprised with these talented ladies. And I can't wait for you to come back. We'll be back in a minute with the Maverick Soul. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. Old Spice Body Spray will make you feel so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face! Goodbye. Oh no! You fucking guy of the idol! Power! Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. Power! <laughs> 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 
Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. Ba -ba 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 power. <laughs> Uh, hmm. uh, Ray, I don't know. Are you sure clicking this thing will get us online? Well, try dragging it. Hmm. Faster. You're just a mouse click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. We are back with the Maverick Soul right here at the Madhouse. And it is a madhouse up in here. So I'm back with two, these two beautiful ladies. And uh, in a little while, they're going to show you what they got. But uh, so, Deb. Yes. You came from, like I said before, a very, very musical family. So now, are you? where do you fall in? Younger than the brother? I'm the oldest. Oh, you're the and oldest. And I have two brothers and a sister. They all play and sing and work in area Must bands. Must be good, and good Christmases and stuff, huh? We, yeah, well, I have cousins that also play. Uh, we've ne the next generation is now doing it. Good. So uh, nephews, my kids all play. Yeah, it's, we don't hire bands. Yeah. We're just told to bring the PA. Yeah, I, <laughs> bring the PA. Yeah, the heavy stuff. That's it. You're setting up. So yeah, it's great though. We are very fortunate to yeah, that, that, be raised you know, around some really and, awesome and, music. And it, and it makes the family tight too. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I like I said, I have six grandsons that live with me, and uh, I bought I think just about every musical instrument that there is. I never asked anybody to play them, but I just have them there. Nice. And but. Still nobody playing. Mm, nobody nobody picks them playing up. yet, but they're young. So, you know, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So um, that that's very cool. And I bet it's a very tight-knit family, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're close. Music brings people together pretty well. I'm not quite sure what we'd all do without We it. wouldn't be here, right, if we didn't. It's true. Uh, <laughs> this is true. We didn't. Wear them tiger pants up at uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Gaskets Farm. <laughs> that, that's how I saw her. She had these tiger pants. Now she just told me she borrowed them from the, one of the dancers. <laughs> that was cool. That was a great time. That was a great time. That was fun. Um, now, there are albums here. I have now this album. This is from Arlene. This is called What's a Poor Man to Do? Poor mouth and, and friends. So, and now do you want to give a little uh, oh, yeah. where they can get this? Uh, you can get that on CD Baby. They actually have a couple of CDs out. That's their most recent. Uh, Poor mouth, the core of the group is uh, Connie Woodring and Richard Mann, husband and wife. And they've had various musicians come and go. That was recorded before I joined, and now I'm no longer with, and they're having their former violinist come back in again because I'm taking a long trip. I won't be around. And speaking of trips, <laughs> what's, this, what's happening now? I, I, I heard a little rumor that you're heading out to the La La Land. Well, in a nutshell, my life took a huge left turn. I got evicted from where I'm living. The bank that owns my property gave me $6,500 so I would go quietly. I have a state allowance to live on for baseline expenses. And at all the same time, a band out in LA uh, is waiting for me to come and audition for them. So I have no choice. Well, I'm we putting everything I own in a 10 by 10 foot storage well, area, bought a car, and I'm leaving. Let them know. We can do a show with Skype. Okay. I can Skype you from L.A. I will That's keep sure. that in mind. That's not a problem. And now I also have some albums here. Now, Deb, this one, Reward, This Way to the Egress. Yes. This that's, is now, this is your brother? No, that's actually my daughter's oh, band. Her daughter. Yes. She's been on a couple national tours already. They've opened up for Voltaire. They're and what's her first name? Sarah. Sarah? Yeah. Okay. And they're, they're in the steam. Sarah, conference. we're giving you a... <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, like I said, they've traveled with Voltaire. He's big in their genre. It's called steampunk. 
Oh, yeah? So they actually hire performers all over the country, too, from anywhere from fire breathers to sword swallowers to... And they, they themselves are a trio, but they can turn into a 10-piece band. And Well, Sarah, um, just played the you know, you have some inside help here, you know. If you <laughs> want to come on the show, I know some lady that might be able to hook us up. So, uh, and where can that, can that be? Uh, they can go to the website. Okay. Um, Which is? Uh, this Way, this to, way egress. to Egress. Yes. To, the, to the Egress. Yeah. Okay, so go to This Way to the Egress and check them out. Yeah, they're also all and, over YouTube. So. And I know this is not for sale, but I do want to uh, acknowledge uh, Deb's dad, who was a very famous uh, jazz guitarist who passed. But um, she was kind enough to bring me this so that I could hear and uh, get a little love from her dad. You know, so um, We just um, put them out. We have a tribute every year now, second yeah. year in a row. So it looks like uh, we'll have them every year. But and he was on the adjunct Harry. faculty. Harry. Yeah. Harry Lee. He uh, was on the adjunct faculty at William Patterson University. Mm -hmm. So they have a scholarship in his name there. So right. we were actually selling those. Harry, things. we're giving you a <laughs> shout out too. We're not <laughs> missing anybody. You can talk to my friend up there too. There you go. So uh, that's great. And um, we're getting around that time. We're getting around that time. Are you girls uh, ready to get down? Sure. Yeah? All right. We're going to take a quick commercial. And when we come back, I want you guys to get, like Matt Levine. I know I don't. I never have to ask you to get in your pajamas because you live in your pajamas, <laughs> whether he's playing on stage or no matter what. <laughs> so, the rest of you guys, get yourself nice and tight, sit back and relax. This is going to be a very peaceful, loving set, and you're going to love it. It's something. Uh, well, you'll see. You'll see. So, hang in there. Get tight. We'll be right back with the Maverick Soul and my two beautiful guests in a minute and they're going to be playing live right here at Madhouse. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. 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 Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, I woke up to go give me a cold pop. Then I thought somebody was barbecuing. Barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord, Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. Ain't nobody got time for that. on the fritz you get frustrated when you get frustrated your daughter imitates when your daughter imitates she gets thrown out of school 
When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Brooklyn specialists in the hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. We are back at the Madhouse with the Maverick Soul with my two beautiful guests here, Deb and Arlene. And they are, I am going to actually take the liberty <laughs> of introducing Taking Liberties. So it's my pleasure, and you guys are going to be blessed with this. So get ready, get comfortable, and listen to these great, beautiful musicians. Thank you.
That was unbelievable. Was Thank that you. unbelievable? <laughs> and let me tell you, they can also go do the rock stuff too. Let me tell you that. Um, we're gonna. Do we have to go to a commercial? We're gonna go to a quick commercial. You got a couple of left in you? Oh uh, yeah, we can yeah. do a couple more. We're gonna be back with this beautiful, talented group right now. Right back with the Madhouse, right here with the Maverick Soul. Hang in there. <laughs> Get tight. Hmm. Uh, Ray, I don't know. Are you sure clicking this thing will get us online? Well, try dragging it. Hmm. Faster. You're just a mouse click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Brooklyn's best locks in the hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Locky? That's right, Alan. And then we'll do something. We are back. I don't want to take up too much time, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to do what? Sunny? Mm -hmm. They're going to do Sunny, and they're going to, then they're going to do one of my favorite songs ever. <laughs> and all you Woodstock people from the Woodstock Guru page, you're going to love this. <laughs> Go, girls. Thank you. <laughs> okay.
sunny. Sunny, that was so sunny. <laughs> but now, go right into, you guys are going to love it. I know it. I don't have summer time. You okay? jump in the middle here. I want to thank these two beautiful ladies. I am in awe of their talents. They are amazing. And I know by just reading the board here how you guys are blown away, too. <laughs> uh, Matt was playing his guitar with it. Uh, Olaf thinks it's thank one you, of Matt. the greatest shows. <laughs> um, you guys were fabulous. And to think that a couple years ago, we were on that stage at Yazga's Farm wailing out on some Joe Cocker, a little help from my friends, and we did like a 20-minute Feel oh, Right Jam. Oh, it was jam, awesome. And the whole place <laughs> went crazy. I mean, that was that was great. So I can't th thank you both enough. It was such a pleasure and a dream to have you here. It was 
beautiful. The music was fabulous. Pick up the CDs wherever you can. And it's time for the Maverick Soul to hit the old dusty trail. But these ladies will back. Maybe she'll be back with a big band from L.A. You never know. <laughs> but she's going out there looking for work, though. Let's get that straight. So uh, thank you so much. And uh, peace to your family and everything. And keep it going. And right. have your daughter give us a ring, too, you know. And uh, well, Arlene, it's always such a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. I can't it was a pleasure and an honor. Thank you well, so we're, much. We're honored to have you here. So with that... Lower kiss to everybody. Peace to you all. Have a blessed week. And like I said, we will come back with a, with a memorial show from Roy. And uh, I can't really wrap my head around it yet, but believe me, it will be special with some special people here that are true friends of his. So thank you guys. Have a great week, a blessed week. We love you. We'll see you, you right back here. Right back. Have, it so. have a good one. It's the right time. you love